Hey everyone, welcome to Parker and Bo. I am Kristen Parker and I have started shooting a traditional recurve style bow. So I wanted to put together a video, please excuse it being fairly rough. It is the first video, so um, they're usually typically rough. But I wanted to put together my experiences of the first few days of me purchasing the bow from my local archery shop and uh, my first few shots with it. Now, I'll give you a little bit of background about me. I have not shot a bow and arrow since I was a child. Probably late elementary, early uh, junior high. It was on a field trip to a like nearby, I wouldn't even say it's like an amusement park, but it was kind of like a dude ranch. And so you would get to go to different stations and things like that. And one of the stations that I was interested in was the archery station. So I was introduced there to archery uh, via the longbow. And uh, I did really well. But <clears throat> with my family and all, I knew that I could not come home asking my parents for a bow and arrow. So it's one of those things that they didn't believe that a child should have um, at that time. And of course, that's kind of a dad thing and dad was always busy with working. So anyway, so I have not shot a bow since then. Um, my first thoughts over the last several years, I've been wanting to get into archery. I just haven't had the means to do so, nor the time. And I was interested in get, getting a compound bow. But as I learned more about them, uh, I don't find anything wrong with them. I think there are amazing compound bow shooters out there. Um, I like them. But for what I wanted to do, which was mainly for like hunting and kind of keeping the spirit of traditional archery going, I really settled on the recurve. Now the type of recurve I, I bought was a takedown. Uh, so that it's easier to travel with. So, uh, over the next few minutes, I'm going to go through uh, uh, with y'all about what kind of bow I got, show you that, talk about that for a little bit, and then show you my experiences. Um, I also I have a video um, attached to this video too. You'll see um, of me shooting in the very first day. So let's continue on. So this is when I first bought my bows back on May 3rd. It was from a local archery shop. They were so great with helping me with the purchase. So this bow is a Outdoor Mountain Project or OMP recurve takedown bow. It comes apart in two and three pieces. Both limbs will come apart as off the riser, which is the wooden part in the middle. And then the white part of it are the limbs. So it's a generally it's a wood bow it does have fiberglass laminate over it i believe it is maple wood uh, you look up the omp recurves it will give you the the specs on it this one is a 25 pound bow uh, when i first started shooting um, and i was trying out different bows it was still this brand and uh, i was shooting a 20 pound bow pretty well and a 30 pound bow was not so fun for me. I am not an athlete. I am um, fit enough to where I can do sprints and some heavy lifting, but my endurance is not very uh, good. And so I do a lot of computer work and everything too. So I wasn't able to continually shoot a 30 pound bow so this one is a 25 pound bow it was a great great starter bow for me i did not want to buy anything that was too expensive because i knew that later on with more shooting and more practice that i was going to need to upgrade and so i want to start it off with something basic uh, so that i can learn get the form down and find out how my body works with the bow before i went off and i spent more money on it so I've, the arrows that we see here are heritage carbon arrows. Um, and then of course I got a hip quiver. I have not used, uh, started shooting with the quiver yet, but um, 
anyway yeah so i have a fitbit so <laughs> anyway um so yeah i i'm not too i'm like better off with a ground quiver right now just because i'm trying to learn how the bow works how the arrows work and how i work with it all so i don't i haven't bit off more than i could chew at this time so that's what that is And with the string and all, it's just the standard string that comes with the OMP bows too. Now this is a closer look at the Heritage Carbon Arrow. It is a 470 mil, uh, milligram arrow. It's total weight that includes the metal field tip on it, the fletchings, and the knock. So that comes out to be about 7.26 grains. And that would be a medium weight bow. And those are flet uh, feather fletchings. This is the case I got too. Now each, like you can get a recurve, a takedown recurve case. But what I found, which is what I have in this case. But what I found that there's really, there's no room for your arrows. And there's no room uh, for all of your other gear that you have like your arm guards and uh, any of your uh, tabs your gloves you may use and things like that um, i also like to keep um, a backup um, stack of targets with me and i also uh, like to keep my practice targets as reference for progress and so i can't keep all that together in a small recurve uh, take down recurve bag so i ended up getting this great bag is the same uh from the same local archery shop uh, that i bought the bow from and this bag is actually a compound bow bag it's a soft case and but it's got plenty of room for my um take down recurve uh, bow case inside it's got a pocket for me to store my targets and everything in and uh, of course it's got the side pockets that you see um, so that I can store gear in and then the very bottom pocket that you see the long that that spans the whole bottom part of the bag that is where I keep my hip quiver and my arrows so it's one neat little package that I can take uh, with me to and from the field and to and from the range so I definitely highly suggest you getting one of these two just kind of keep everything together now after this is my arm and everybody uh, if you've been doing look some searching online um, even in some of the archery groups that may be on Facebook and all uh, string slap is a problem and this is my first experience with string slap and uh, this came from me just trying out the bows and so what the local shops do is they kind of get you basic form so that you can you know briefly shoot the bow and arrow in a safe manner so they do give you some tips you know that to kind of get your arms out of the way this is when i learned about rotating the elbow out uh, where it's parallel to the ground and uh, things like that but usually it's not until it's too late so this is my very first string slap it does happen so if this happens to you don't worry it it with practice and with the conscious effort to keep your arm out of the way uh, you will start reducing this slowly okay there's a few other things that go into the reason why we get string slap on the arms uh, but I'll go over all that in a different video but keep those elbows uh, parallel to the ground and um, yeah you'll you'll you won't hit your arm so much and believe me they hurt this is not as bad as some of the ones i've seen and i actually uh, have clipped myself a few more times after this one and that wasn't fun as you see here in a little bit so um, it does happen this is definitely not a problem at all um, so it's it's nothing it's a newbie thing okay 
So there are armed guards and things like that to uh, get to help prevent it. So, okay, moving on. This is three days later. This was my first day by myself at the indoor range after I purchased my bow from them. So there's my first target. It's kind of rough, not too bad. Uh, I do have a lot of spray and everything there, but I did manage to hit the uh, center of the target uh, one time there. So it's pretty impressive, kind of a high target, the four quadrant bale that you see the target is mounted on. Um, and then I believe I was shooting about 10 arrows at the time. So, uh, that was my very first target all by myself with my brand new recurve. And this was my arm afterwards. So, you see how I was starting to heal a few days later from the initial string slap that I got whenever I was trying out the bows. Then I kept getting the string slap, even with an arm guard, um, when I went back to the range to shoot three days later. So what I found it was a slight problem. So what the arm guard that I got, and I'll show this to y'all in another video, um, is it was a typical leather vented arm guard with your Velcro straps that go around the wrist and then up by the elbow. What ended up happening here and why you see the lines is that the string was getting caught between my arm guard and my arm. So I eventually had to give it up and take off the arm guard and then I went to Academy and I bought a compression sleeve. And it was a thick padded one uh, kind of in their athletic weightlifting area. You can get them anywhere. And it was more of like the knitted kind, so it was real padded. And I ended up using that along with the vented arm guard um, to try to see if that would help reduce me getting hit by the string until I got it to where I automatically moved my arm out of the way when I was shooting the bow. So then that's perfectly acceptable. I went to a couple of different ranges with that. And uh, they all said that they were uh, pretty, pretty impressed that I was able to find something that would at least help aid me until I was able to get the right form down. So if there's something that you want to do or try, even wearing long sleeves or a hoodie, I, you know, something like that, don't worry. Feel free to do that. Whatever you do, though, is just make sure that you focus on your form so that you no longer need such a setup like that, okay? So, and that hurt pretty bad. And I believe that's the worst time I've ever been hit by a, by a string. So, this is the second day I was at the indoor range. And this is a different indoor range I was at. And uh, the distances were a little bit different. And I was went to the range with a friend of mine. So, there's some video here. Uh, he, very nice to take photos of me. This is my second time shooting by myself with my new bow. I was really focused on form and making sure that my, my drawing arm was back like it should have been, but there was... There was definitely some improper moves in this video. My release is not good either. I have a lot of twisting in my body. And I'm just trying to figure it all out. It's all new and exciting to me. I pulled the string in the wrong spot and it that's why the arrow came off. I wasn't really aiming at this point. Uh, it's pretty much just 
instinctively I was focused on form and trying to learn the bow and so as long as I hit my target or the target bail that the target was mounted on that's all I cared about I was just trying to get familiar and acquainted with the bow and arrow Indoor ranges are great for such a thing because it's a fairly controlled environment. You don't have to worry about weather, you don't have to worry about wind. So they're great places to start. You see the new arm guard I got? I talked to them about my problem of getting the string caught between my vented arm guard leather arm guard and the uh, and my arm and they had one of these sleeves type arm guards so now this is in slow motion then you will see that it wasn't as smooth looking as it really was a lot of vibration not enough control in the bow hand i was unsure about my stance i was not steady and my release was hard. You definitely don't want a lot of movement whenever you come up into the ready position and then when you're drawn back to fire. You really don't want to be moving around so much. It's an obvious sign that you are not in position, you are not lined up, and your form is off somehow. It's always good to raise the bow before you draw it. I'm using a glove, a leather glove, in this video, instead of a pull tab. That's a uh, preference, so you can choose which one you want to use. According to the World Archery Rule Book, you're able to use a glove, as long as it's an open glove like this, it does not wrap around the hand or go between the index finger and the thumb. You can use a tab, a finger tab. You can tape your fingers or you can barehand it. So finger protection is not required, but they do allow a, a variety of uh, finger protection uh, if you decide you want to shoot in any competitions. That goes for the bare bow, the traditional recurve. I pulled the string back wrong. If you pull the string back to the left or to the right, that arrow will come off just as though you're squeezing the arrow when you're drawing back, if you're using the split finger method. So the finger protection goes for the bare bow, it recurves, it goes for the traditional recurve categories as well as the instinctive recurve uh, category as well. I also had an injured finger, so that's what you see me shaking off. The elbow needs to be back behind the line of the arrow. Everything must be in alignment from your toes to your nose. Everything must be in alignment and pointing towards that target and you've got to hold it firmly and through the shot. That means 
until the time that arrow hits that target. Follow through is not just in your release, it's in the entire shot. So that is not happening in this video. I also have a full grip on the bow too and that's going to determine if that arrow is going to go left or right depending on how tight that bow is squeezed. You just want pressure enough to where it stays in your hand when you draw the string back and you do not grip it through the shot. You do not grip it until that bow goes to fall and instinct will make you catch it. If you grip it during the shot as that arrow leaves that bow, you're, you will miss your mark almost every time. Another thing I found out about during this day is that my shirt was too loose. I caught my shirt on my string uh, a couple of times during our time at the range. And so you don't want to wear loose fitting clothing because that string will pick it up. I'm five foot three, the bow is five feet. So it doesn't take much for that bow to clip anything with me. So there's me, tired and worn out from our day at the range. But it was fun. I learned a lot. But after this, what I had done is a week later, I signed up for a group beginner class. And that was great. It was a family-oriented, uh, kind of a familiarization class. I did get a couple of tips from the instructor about things that I was doing, like my bow shoulder was too high. Uh, the way that I gripped the string was a bit too much and things like that, which helped me greatly. And then following that Friday, that following Sunday on the same weekend, I took a one-on-one -on -one private lesson from a uh, level four coach um, at the local archery shop that I bought the recurve bow from. And with her guidance, I was able to learn a little bit more and then take all of the information that I learned about myself in the beginning and learned from the group class and learned from the private coach and put that to practice to try to figure out how I work with that bow and how that bow works with me as it being an extension of me. So I appreciate it. Hope this video helps you out. And uh, it's, it's a great, great, sport to get into uh weaponry is an definitely an ancient art form and everything and i really appreciate it i i enjoy it i'm glad that traditional archery is still around and uh, still of interest to people and i'm excited to be able to keep that tradition going and everything and i look forward to bringing y'all more videos about my progress I just did I tried to do a, a 30 day challenge and uh, I'll put together a video about how far I came with that one and then um, talk with y'all one on one a little bit you can see my shiny face take y'all to the field and all and kind of go over the gear and and some of the tips and tricks that I've learned as I've been new even stuff that is outside of what the coaches have talked about um, it's interesting once you start getting acclimated to the bow and uh, all the different behaviors that it can do uh, according to your style of shooting and um, and things like that so anyway i appreciate it so much and uh, thank you and please click subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the beginning of our journey and the future videos that i'll be putting up so anyway thank you so much and y'all have a great time and uh 
practice, 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 and keep on shooting.